I'm going to try this again. Because I forgot to actually delete my trash can full of things. Oh, by the way, this is my hand now. Went great. But look. Alright, I'm going to do this one more time, and if it stops recording, I'm throwing my phone through something. So, all of these tendons are cut through this one on the index. I have a YouTube channel where I document everything. I hope you don't mind. But I'm trying to give my fans a little idea of what happened to my hand. Mm -hmm. It went through this tendon, this tendon, and this tendon, and the bones, and these two fingers. And that's why they look like Pinocchio's nose got melted in a house fire. And, uh, yeah, so these are the flexor tendons, and these are the extensor tendons, and the extensors go over the tops of your knuckles, and the, what are the tensors? Flexor, flexor, tensor. Doesn't make any sense, because these ones tense, these ones flex. So, muscles work, flex, tense. But anyways, what's the word, Doc? Okay, we'll go over some exercises for you. Some of these you might have already from Dartmouth, from where you're, what you're doing before, but I want you to start just doing like taking a fist as much as you can and straightening as much as you can. Okay. And do that 10 times. It's kind of just like try for full, full effort on that one. Um, so 10 reps of that. These ones are called tendon glides, so they're trying to help your tendon slide with all the other like soft tissue structures and along your scar, trying to free up some of that stuff yep. um, to get some gliding better. So you know, start with your hand straight. Yep. And we're gonna do this. Oh, okay. Okay, straight. <laughs> oh, that's and different. Then this. Yeah. All right, then straight. Straight up. Okay. And then try and make a full fist. Okay. Straight. And then try and make a flat fist. Like this. Okay. And then you're just going to repeat that. Okay. Three so to five times. Basically what she's having me do is she's having me straighten my hand out like this and go straight up and then kind of do that, you know, that finger move technique that we learned in school, except it's with all of them to try and all of that. Oh. Detonation. Yeah, just make sure you don't expect a straight hand in between each one. Yep. You want me to just keep doing them in practice? Yeah, let's try one more time. Mm -hmm. Just go back to straight in between each one. Oh, okay. I was messing up. That's okay. That's a straight tabletop. Straight claw. So this one straight here. Oh yeah, that's all I got with that. Okay. <laughs> straight full fist. Straight flat fist. Good. Oh. So straight in between each one. That's how I've been making a fist this entire time. <laughs> it's funny when you stop and focus on it, right? Then the next one is just touching the tips of your fingers. Yep. With your thumb. That was pretty good. Okay, next one is this. Oh, nice. So it's it's basically the same exercise as last time. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, and the thing about it is, is the more I do these exercises, these fingers get absolutely livid itchy. They get, they get itchy, okay. Well, it's not just itchy, but it's pain. Itchy pain. Yeah. Okay. Like, I've been blown up before. And I had a rock. I don't know how big it was. It was like the size of this like an ice cream container. And it landed on this hand. Ouch. And it landed in, on my hand from like 40 feet in the air. On top of my hand. This hand was on rock. So it hit it and bounced. And when I looked at my hand, <laughs> it started to like, like if you had set purple oobleck on the table, it started to get bigger. <laughs> it was horrible. So, Does not sound very comfortable, I have to say. No, I got a but couple it, broken fingers out of it. But that one works okay now, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. It just beat up. Mm -hmm. All right. Then the next two you're going to do 
to each finger. So you're going to walk down here and just focus on bending the middle one, middle joint. So this. Yeah. I wish it pointed the right way. <laughs> I know it. Bend it down and then try and straighten it each time too. So kind of hold it for like a second or two just so you're getting the full, full extent of each motion. Good. Then move on to the next finger. Oh. different ranges because if I straighten it like this and I try and like you know how you can you can either pull your hands in will keep a knee straight mm -hmm. or you can start the curl on everything right it locks up different points like right here when the tendon it feels like there's a needle trying to get poked through the like like yeah and we'll do the same thing to the next finger and then the next one ten times each that's all ten right now, but that was pretty good. Ten. Okay, and then you're gonna move on and do the same thing, but to the just the tip of your finger. So you're gonna just yep. keep it straight at that middle one. And that's what she was doing. Yeah. She had me doing. Yeah. From Dartmouth. Yep. And I did that for a while. And I'm gonna isolate every each one. Yeah, I was doing it. And it wasn't doing anything. Okay. wasn't helping so hold it more so like here just so you're trying to keep this one straight I and know. not moving it hurts i'm on the nerve is right there and it's kind of doing some no. grinding stuff on the nerve so try the next finger this is what they're having me do right now i'm supposed to be holding it and bending just the end straight bend straight good so try to do those at least a couple times a day um i wrote under each one like how many times how many reps to do right um try to do them like two or three times a day and then i still want you to work on your scar massage too um to try and free up that scar a little bit and kind of get it smoothing smoothing out again um so you can go like down down the scar like this that hurts so much it. And then circles all, all again. I don't want you to press like super, super hard, yeah. but just enough, you know. Yeah, and it, it hurts like a lot. It yeah. was a lot worse than that. Mm hmm. Been working on it. Yeah. Okay. So I think gentle pressure. Okay. Any questions about the exercises? No. I think that's a fair place to start. Yeah. Okay. So it looks. Right. You have another one scheduled with me on the fifth of next month. Correct. Yep. Next Friday. And then one on the eleventh. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let me know in the meantime if you have any questions, but otherwise I'll see you on the fifth. All right. Do you okay. want to say goodbye to YouTube? <laughs> no, thank you. No, she didn't want to. All right. Later, guys.